Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. So it's been seven weeks since I have lost my nan. Seven weeks since I lost a best friend. Seven weeks since I lost my second mum. Um, and it's really, really tough. Really, really tough, I have to admit. So... Uh, what I, f I, what I find so, so difficult is just with her not being here. You know, it sounds strange, doesn't it? But I never, ever anticipated a time when my nan wouldn't be here. My nan had an illness, which, which sort of grew as like a cloud over my nan. She had, she had Alzheimer's. So she had better days than others, but most of the time, how my nan handled her illness was absolutely incredible and inspirational. And she was a very, very strong, willpowered and determined lady. She's my inspiration to so much in this life. And this life, I will always say, I have been absolutely blessed in. I have incredible parents. I have been blessed with the most amazing, beautiful, immaculate, for sort of my upbringing, my parents, I have beautiful parents, I have incredible parents, I have an amazing, amazing mum and I have an amazing dad. My mum's mum is my nan, who I am very, very close to all the time. Um, and in this privileged life of mine, I, I never really thought or planned for a time when something would happen or I would lose my nan such a huge piece to sort of the puzzle of my life really um but yeah when nan was around it was never a, a puzzle it was this ultimate sort of happy sort of almost like a, a dream that that whatever was thrown our way whether it be my mum was very very close to my nan they were almost like sisters rather than mother and daughter but a very special special bond and um that's difficult to see my mum sort of struggle without that now. It's been seven weeks and I find it very, very difficult. Here in the UK, where I'm positioned, where I live in the UK, we're having some really, really very hot weather and I love hot weather, I absolutely do. The hotter the better. The sun, my nan used to absolutely love. And um, the sun always makes me think of my nan's smile. My nan may have been 95, but she was very, very young at heart. She never, she never sort of, she certainly never acted her age. And if you were to see my nan, you wouldn't put her much sort of past late 60s. She was very, very glamorous, very, very incredible. Um, but most of all, she was a, a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful person. And I really, really thought in my life that she would be there for every and share every experience and you know what we would celebrate as the years would go by and yes my nan's illness it, it developed yes and more of a cloud grew over my nan but like as I always said that I was there to it was sort of like that there was my nan has a very very large family but she only seen a very few select people so my um, myself and my mum were there all the time my aunt my uncle were there often, um, and my brothers were there often as well. Um, so very often, throughout everything, it was my nan, me, and my mum, which I feel very, very privileged, and, and I always treasure and cherish those moments, because that was very, very special, and I suppose I just always thought that that would continue. I love being on YouTube, and I love seeing sort of all the different people on YouTube and things, and now, of course, there's so many people doing things with their grandparents, whether it be their grandfather or their grandmother, their nan, um, so many people have different names for their grandparents as well, which is, which is really, really lovely to see. My nan was always nan, she never wanted to be grandma or granny or anything like that at all, it was always nan. Um, do you know when I when I look at these people now and I think to myself that was me and I have those moments where I think to myself and I get very very upset. Let's be honest, to be quite honest with you, I could cry all the time. I really could. It doesn't take too much to um, to set me off because I miss her so much. I miss her of every moment of every day, and it's been seven weeks. And I look at pictures of my nan and um, 
and I, and I, it is tough. I mean, it's difficult, isn't it? When anybody loses anybody, but when that person means such a lot to you, um, I don't even think I've really be begun. I don't even think I've really begun. I try to put a, put a, a brave front on all the time. Um, but it's just like as I as I go through this life. I mean, even throughout my nan's illness, I was right with her right from the very start when things started. And I always said to my nan that I would be with her all the way through. And I was. I never I I would I was always seeing her. I was even throughout the COVID pandemic, yes, it caused problems and there was a screen between us, but I still managed to see my nan very, very often. And myself and my mum would take her things all the time and my brothers would take her things all the time and, and every week it would be the products my nan used in gifts and flowers and things and we really, really tried to make it as special and just spoil my nan as much as we could. How my nan went out of this world was absolutely horrific and was very, very tragic. And I find that very, very difficult to comprehend. And um, I don't think I'll ever, ever get over it. I don't think I'll ever, ever be the same. I don't think I want to be the same. Um, and I'll be honest, I'm kind of quite, I'm, I'm, this world kind of almost scares me a little bit without my own in it. Um, and I know at my nan's age, people are probably thinking that you wouldn't have had her forever. But, it, but I honestly, I honestly never really thought of a time where she wouldn't be here. My nan was so, so strong and so determined. And that beautiful smile of my nan's would always shine through. And no matter what attempted to get her down, it didn't. It really, really didn't. I think in my own head, I had my nan going on past 100 in that she would always sort of just continue until that time where I would have hoped that she would have peacefully have gone off into her sleep. That sadly did not happen at all. Um, my nan suffered right up into her last breath. I was with her when she took her last breath alongside my mum and my eldest brother. Um... It's just very, very difficult. You know, it's been seven weeks and I haven't, don't think I've even started. I pray every night. That brings me comfort. It really, really does. Um, but it's just, now I find myself because my, whilst my nan was sort of going through this illness, even sort of in my teenage years when I would be staying with my nan, I used to stay with my nan lots. I would always, I was always there, school holidays, sort of weekends, I was there, and if we were to do anything, it would be my mum, my bedroom brother, and there's always this really magical, sort of really nice, lovely time, all the time, to be quite honest with you, and if we went anywhere, I'd always be looking at, I'd be thinking, oh, Nan would like that, or Nan would like that, or, and that didn't change, as my Nan grew, um, went through this illness, and as that cloud over the years developed, Christmas was still Christmas, birthdays were still birthdays, Easter was Easter, and all these special times my nan was always included, and very much she was at the centre of them all. She is a matriarch of our family, she always will be. Um, and it's just for so long, throughout my whole life, um, ever since I can remember she's been there, and now, to have her not, it's been seven weeks, and you know, I physically feel hurting here, because it feels like I'm really anxious that I haven't picked up the phone or I haven't been to see my nan or I haven't made sure she's okay. And I'm thinking, you can't though, Bradley. We've had the funeral, which was very, very difficult. I had the utmost honour and privilege alongside my mum to organise that. I gave and delivered my nan's eulogy and I stood up in front of a chapel full of people and delivered that. And that was an absolute honour and a privilege. I looked, I... With, alongside my mum, we made sure my nan was at rest and at peace in, I can't even say it, in the chapel of rest, where my nan, pa, um, of course, when she'd passed away and we had her dressed how she would want to, and I helped my, my mum with with um, the picking of the items of what we wanted her dressed in and sort of the choices for the funeral and things and music and service sheets and everything. And I styled my nan's hair. Um, as my nan grew, this cloud grew uh, over my nan's 
illness, I would help her with more and more things alongside my mum. So, for example, very often, if um, if sort of if if the time is sort of called for it, or if my nan needed it, for example, I would help my mum sort of with my nan's hair, or or what, picking out different clothes and things for her, and one thing or another to keep my nan as my nan. So I'd done that for her, and I knew how my nan liked her hair, and it never ever changed. My nan was a very, very glamorous lady throughout her whole life. Honestly, if she walked into a room, whether she had her illness or in her in the summer of her life, when she was perfectly fit, well, and healthy, you would honestly think it was a film star walking into the room. My mum was exactly the same, um, and it's and it's just that's at face value but then under all of that you have this incredible truly remarkable person who i genuinely always thought that i could not live without genuinely and now i'm no i'm not stuck but it just hurts so much i don't know what to say all it is in the world isn't it it's not going to change what's happened. It's not going to bring my nan back. Um, and and you know what? I feel I feel awful because there are people in this world who have lost loved ones, sons, daughters, parents, extremely young. And I know my nan had a very long life, but I suppose I'm just greedy. I suppose I wanted more. Seven weeks is really not a long time. I know it's not, and I know this is going to be a very long process. There will be clips coming up on my channel, which we will, I've tried a few products and things actually, which I'm going to have a look at reviewing, um, just to sort of try to, um, just to sort of try to bring a sort of a sense of, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, just to bring a sense of like, I'm never going to move on. That's never ever happening. Like I said to my nan when I left my nan, and, and the day before the funeral, I went and seen my nan. Again, I seen my nan twice in the chapel of rest, and I prayed with her, and I talked to her, and I kissed her on the cheek, and I held her hand, and, and I said, this isn't the end. We just won't be able to hold hands anymore. And so with that, I, I literally, I hold my nan, and I step forward. Like I said to her, give me time and I'll show you all I can be. So with that, there will be clips and things coming up on my channel. And with my man, we will, I will probably not be in, I will probably not be doing clips going forward with my nan. Of course, that's very, very personal. I choose to do these because my channel is so much more to me than just product reviews or sort of positivity messages or that sort of mentor or that sort of push in life. It is genuinely somewhere where I enjoy to come to share the good, the bad, the achievements, the positives those difficult moments in life as well. My channel is up. It's almost like a tour for me along the bumpy road of life. That's what I always refer to it as. So we will be taking a step forward. I'll be holding this all in my heart always. Um, and there will be there will be clips and interesting things coming up. Certainly will be. And we will be trying to take my channel forward. Um, in the direction I think which it yearns for, to be quite honest with you. I've had some amazing comments. Um, I am recovering from very, very extensive surgery. I've had groin reconstruction following yet again another hernia repair, and that was, that was my third one. So I am on my, tomorrow, I'm on my eighth week since the surgery, so we'll be looking at that at some point in the near future too, because my experience has not been great. Um, we'll, be, we'll be looking at a whole host of all different things, so I really, really hope um, all my subscribers, which thank you very, very much. They have really, really jumped since me taking a break from my channel. Um, and all my views and every single minute which has been watched. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is a very difficult time for me. Um, but we will hold my hand and take a step forward. And, um, and, and yes, there are, there are bright things to come. I can assure you there really are at the moment. Um, this is where I come to be honest, and this is where I get to let my guard down, and I am very low. I find it very, very difficult. I find it very, very difficult to sleep at the moment. I find it very, very difficult not to think of my man, everything what I'm doing at the moment. For so many years, it's always 
And that was from the very purpose, to be quite honest with you. Um, I'm just so fortunate that I've, I've, I've got my, that I've got my mum, I have to admit, which is a best friend of mine, because, as was my nan, because when you hear these tragic stories that this happens and then somebody is left with no one, I do not know how these people cope. I mean, for me, faith is a huge thing for me, which gets me through. It really is. Um, and I'm finding it difficult because I want all these wonderful things in life. And it's just sort of like that. I always thought that my nan would be there to share them with me. And I know she will be. She always used to say to me, I think the world of you, my love. And although I may never see you grow up, I'll always be with you and I'll always be looking down on you. But that I really, really hold here and I cherish. So I try to tell myself that all the time, that she will be there to share the achievements to share the sorrow because we all have that in our lives but most of all when i develop when i grow when i move forward when i take the positive steps in life we all have the trip the fall in life as well should be there thankfully i've got my parents still um i have an amazing family i really really do family is so so much to me um hurts even saying that now because my nan's not physically here but um but yeah yeah, absolutely. Okay, so with that said, thank you very, very much for listening. Thank you very much on the opposite end of this screen for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to all my views. And thank you to all my questions and comments and things in the breaks, in the break, the recent break, which I've taken. Um, I will be coming back to the channel and I will be answering all of my comments. Um, at the moment, of course, I've just been taking a time out for this tragic event and for the recovery of my operation. Okay, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much indeed. And until next time, and pretty soon, I will be seeing you then. Bye for now.